Hello. So, while I've been redoing some of these book videos, I had a look through my contents. There's a little thing in kind of that corner with a bar and a spyglass. If you type in keywords in your own videos, it'll put up your own videos, what those keywords are. So I typed in Osprey Men at Arms, and I've only done one book in the Osprey Men at Arms series, which was, the, which was the German Combat Equipments. So I've got a couple of books out that I thought I'd done before, but it turns out I've never actually reviewed them. So they're all these but goodies. I've had them for many years, so we'll have a look at them. And this one, Osprey Men at Arms, number 139, German Airborne Troops, 1939 to 1945. Um, I've done a kind of review of a similar book to this as part of the old Del Prado um, World War II lead soldier figure thing. And you get a Del Prado lead soldier and a condensed version of an Osprey Men at Arms. So I've reviewed a condensed version of this book when I did the Lead Soldiers uh, a year or so ago. But anyway, this is Osprey Men at Arms series number 139, German Airborne Troops, 1939-1945. It's not the only Osprey book on the German Airborne Troops. The, the better one is the Osprey Warrior series, which we'll have a look in the next video. It's a better detailed book. Um, as always, these Osprey Men at Arms, um, they have kind of colour illustrations. They're mainly orientated, in my opinion, towards model figure painters rather than actual military people. I do find the uh, the Osprey equipment and insignia books handy, but these sort of things, I don't go mental to buy them. I only pick them up the car boot sales and things like that, and I swap them and all that sort of stuff. But uh, by and large, the ones that are about regiments and units i tend to find they're really only used to uh, figure painters i mean there's some good illustrations in them but they're not detailed enough in places it does go through equipment and things like that but it doesn't actually show photographs of surviving equipment it shows period photographs but uh, by and large it's the usual osprey format of kind of illustrations which a good for model painting but anyway this is german airborne troops 1939-45 osprey men at arms number 139 um, first published 1983 reprinted june 83 84 85 86 87 88 and 89 so this one is a 1989 edition so it's a, a really cheap book on german paratroopers but it's not as good as Osprey Warrior Series, Fallschirmjäger. This one is a far better book than that one. That one's all right, but if you can, get that one. We'll have a look at this one in the next video. So we'll unscrew that and we'll take a look at this. Okay. German Airborne Troops, 1939-45, Osprey Men at Arms, 139. So it's the usual formatted layout. The roll, Forschermjäger operations. So it goes through the various campaigns they've been in. Ground operations. The final year of the war when they were wasted as infantry it goes through equipment parachutes then we have the illustrations which are good basic illustrations goes into details of containers then it has the description of the plates So it's good enough for what it is, but you're better off looking for the, the similar um, Osprey Warrior series if they do 
a similar thing and they obviously do a, a similar thing with the Forsham Jaeger in the Warrior series so do look out for that one shouldn't cost a fortune German Airborne Troops 1939-45 Osprey number 139 it's been almost in continuous publication since 1983 so you should have no trouble finding it 